Hello, church family. I, I thought this announcement was serious enough to warrant a video message, and it's much too large for a text message. This morning, Oklahoma Health Department announced that Enid has reached the threshold of 67.6 .6 cases per 100,000. That is way past the red line that Enid Public Schools set, and Enid Public Schools will be going virtual on Monday morning. I've already heard from five disciples congregations in the Northwest area that they are either going virtual this Sunday or next Sunday. I've been fielding calls all afternoon from church members asking what we are going to do as it is just getting crazy out there. After some consultation with our stewardship chair, our worship chair, and our executive team, we decided that Central will return to phase one of our COVID-19 plan effective Monday morning. We will worship in person on the 15th. We've spread you out a little bit more, but after that, we will worship virtually for at least the next two weeks. On November 15th, there will be no communion at the curb. On November 22nd, all worship will be virtual. Also, the dessert auction will be postponed until after the first of the year. And our Thanksgiving meal, which we really wanted to do in person, is going to have to be to go. So, communion at the curb will resume on the 22nd. You can make a reservation for your Thanksgiving meal at the church office. Just call Candy and make your reservation. And then you can pick up your meal at Communion at the Curb on the 22nd between 11.30 and 12 o'clock. If you would like to drop off your offering or your pledge card or anything else, food, anything, you can do that at Communion at the Curb between 11.30 and 12, beginning on the 22nd and going forward. The church office will remain open because we can socially distance as an, as an office staff to facilitate communication and meet the needs of our church members. If you have prayer needs, pastoral care needs, or anything else, please don't hesitate to call the church office or call my cell phone. We are always available. I encourage you, I'm begging you to pray for our church, for our nation, for our state, and for our city. The leadership of all of those need your prayers diligently. Now, the mission of our church has not changed, and it will continue. We will continue to meet the needs of the people in our community. We will continue to share Jesus, to feed the hungry, to offer drinks to the thirsty, to tend the sick, and minister to those in need. Our welcome table will continue to serve meals to go only on Sunday evenings. Our foster feet program will continue. Our coat ministry will continue. We will continue. The mission and vision of the church will continue. Thank you for listening. I look forward to worshiping with you. I'm sorry that it had to end up here, but out of an abundance of caution, these are the steps your leadership has taken. Don't forget that if you would like to drop off your pledge card, you can do so in the offering plate or at communion at the curb in the coming weeks. Have a blessed day.